Yeah, for us on our power play, we just want to you know, do what we do well, play to our strengths. Um, you know, I think we can move the puck well. I think we, we get lots of, uh, of shots. We're able to recover pucks well and uh, play with speed. And you know, we have good entry. So it's just up to us to do what we do well. And uh, I mean, they're going to come out and, and, and play well here tonight. Getting a bit of a having a chance to take a bit of a breath yesterday. I just wondering what the, the message was. Is everyone kind of gathered mm. tonight this morning? Yeah, it's just that the expectation is that we're going to be better. Uh, obviously, we're not pleased with the way the last two games have gone. Um, so it's just a chance to be better. We played some really good hockey. So. You know, moving forward from now up until the the All Star game, we have a chance here to 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 work on some things, to play well, and to you know build some confidence. So, I mean, when that home stretch of the season comes, we're we're prepared to to, to play some good hockey. When the market is crazy, this one, you know, everything gets talked about. Do you feel like what TJ kind of means to the team and, and the impact he has somewhat goes maybe less talked about than it should? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it depends how you look at it. I think it's his teammates. We appreciate him. And we 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 really value what he does for our team. So. You know, it depends who you ask, I guess. But, uh, you know, Broads has been a great player for us ever since he's got here, and he brings a lot to our group. So, um, you know, he, he's extremely important to what we're doing. Forgive me if you were asked to start in Oregon. What did you make of uh, Mitch getting the ball start? Yeah, I mean, it's extremely well-deserved. Um, I mean, I think we have a couple guys in here that you know, could easily be All-Stars every year. Um, and, I mean, Mitch has had a, a, a special season with the point streak and everything. And, um, you know, how he's able to play, I think, you know, speaking of things that don't get talked about enough, I think it's probably his two-way game and how good he is defensively and his, his, his instincts and, you know, what he does. On the, I think he's, he's our best penalty killer, you know, in that conversation. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to label him as that, but, you know, he, he's in that group of our PK guys that are incredibly important. You know, meanwhile, he's our, our top scorer type thing, so he's extremely valuable. Uh, you looked at the format, like it's kind of a weird format this year where maybe yeah, some guys don't get to go in because of... The yeah. Quota. Yeah, I think you know most guys will tell you that um, you know it's not important or you know it is what it is. It's not anything that you know they're too worried about. They're just trying to play the team game. Uh, but that being said, I, I think that there are definitely guys that deserve to be acknowledged, and you know they might miss that opportunity because of the format. But you know, hopefully their teammates are there to pick them up anyway. Starting goaltender here tonight. Uh, Sammy. Is that fine? Yeah. What can you take from the day off that? Can you Team yeah, I think it's just that, just just energizing. I mean, it's been you know been a longer longer week. Um, you know, we were debating whether to take Wednesday off or or Friday, and ultimately decided that Friday, given that it's right before the back to back, uh, made sense. Uh, but also just coming off that game in Seattle and the way that it went, I think it's good to. Clear, uh, clear their heads a little bit, and come back uh, today refreshed and, and ready to, to get back at it. Well, then you wanted to give the current group of guys some runway. Was there any contemplation after how the other night went tonight? Maybe some subtle talks or, or yeah, no, nothing outside of what we normally do, which is just discuss. You know, everybody feels about the the lineup and any potential changes, but ultimately, I just think you know, anytime you come off a loss like that. You know, you want to give the group another opportunity to go. Uh, so, really, just settled with that. Didn't spend too much time on it. You have to guard against Sheldon as coach. Any type of for the team, any type of lull between the Christmas and, and the All Star break in, in this month right now. And, you know, I know we're hitting the midterm and our mid point of the season, but just kind of get through the team. Right? Yeah, I think that's natural. You know, um, I don't know whether you can. Pointed to All Star Break and Christmas and all of those kind of things, but I think there's ebbs and flows of the season. You know, most teams go through that. Um, you know, there's been a couple that really haven't, that obviously have really separated themselves from the pack, and we've done a pretty good job, clearly, you know, through November and December of putting ourselves in a good spot, not having too many dips. But, you know, right now it's been a little bit uh, inconsistent in terms of our results, so you want to get that back. But in terms of guarding against it, I mean, we, we alluded to a little bit just in talking about, you know, the amount of home games we had in January and all of that, and, you know, not getting too complacent or comfortable with that and uh, getting outside the regular rhythm sometimes getting on the road and having those road trips are are galvanizing and, and are good and healthy um, so when you don't have that you got to really rely upon staying sharp and you know, taking care of things uh, taking care of things and yourself when you leave the rink and go home and all of that uh, so those are the kind of things I'm more conscious of and just managing our schedule sometimes when you get on the road it, it, it naturally in itself 
you, know, you get a little more rest because you're conscious of it. You don't practice as much. And, and when you're at home, you tend to practice more. You have more time. It's a little more convenient. So just that balance of making sure we don't overdo it, um, keep the guys fresh. Because as much as it's you know, a lot of home games, you're, you are going to be, or we are going to be playing a lot of games. And this week, I mean, it's four games this week here. And, and uh, you know, it's just a good example of how we've got to be really purposeful uh, with how we manage the group. How can you take advantage too of the the fact that in the next almost two months you guys your 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 travels are short so you're not going to much, right? Yeah, like well, like I think I mean. Like I was saying, you look at it, and yes, it, you would think it's an advantage. You don't have to travel as far. Um, as I was saying, though, I think there are some benefits to these road trips. You know, you can get away. It's different. It, it breaks up the schedule. Um, when you look at it on a calendar, it doesn't look that like much, you know. But these, these trips where you kind of bounce in and out, and you get one game on the road, and you come back home, and you play, and then you go back on the road for a day or two and come right back, those trips aren't easy either um, because, um, you know, you don't get, you don't never really get settled anywhere. And then before long, home starts to feel like the road. So uh, those, that's all just the natural stuff that the, the schedule brings. Uh, so it happens to have come to us here in January. And, you know, we should be excited to play on home ice. But there's a lot of other things that go into it that I gotta, we've got to be really, really good about managing to make sure that we can optimize this. Yeah, I saw them. They're, they're sharp. I think it's an important day, just in terms of um, awareness and and uh, recognizing uh, our need to to reconcile the situation here. We, we were very fortunate, actually, to have Chief Laforme from uh, Miss Slugger the Credit in to speak to our group here this morning. So, uh, just to make that that connection about the importance of an organization such as ours to take a lead and set an example and to also educate ourselves uh, about the importance of, of this reconciliation. So I think the whole, the, whole, um, the whole night and the awareness around it across the league I think is, is a very important and overdue endeavor. You talked about it the last couple of days, but you figure you can pick up in other areas, take some pressure off your goals. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think the one thing that I haven't liked in terms of our defensive play is we've given up a little bit more of, like, the big chance. And, and you know, the, whether it's a breakaway or two-on-ones and those kind of things, um, I, I still think we've played really good hockey throughout over the course of the 60 minutes. Like, if you, if you step back from it and you look at the number of chances we've given up and how we've carried play, like, I don't think we've slipped too much in that regard. I just think that we've given up really good looks at bad times, you know, and, and that costs you. So that's the area where we just got to remain consistent and, and keep that dialed in. I don't think our game uh, has slipped uh, entirely in, in in many ways, uh, it's just that one that one piece where the games are closer. I thought the other night, as we talked about, we could have really grabbed control of that game in the first period, and we failed to do so. Allow the opponent to hang around, and then you make a big mistake that compounds things, and the game gets away on you, rather than you just kind of climbing your way back, which we've done so many times throughout the season. So that's really it. Whether I look at um, the game the other night against Seattle, or in, in some ways the game in Arizona very similar in that sense, our, our inability to really capitalize early and then just remain consistent and, and ride through and sort of pull away in the game. Um, and we, didn't, we weren't able to do that. So the game itself looks worse than what I think it really is, but we have to eliminate that big chance against. Um, you know, you'd like, you need to get saves inside of that, of course, but also there's a job to do to, to just prevent them from even getting that look. And, you know, I, I, the fact that we weren't able to continue with what we were doing in the first period throughout, that was disappointing, but we had another chance to get it right today. What do you make of uh, Mitch Gillen also? I think it's terrific. He's you know, obviously had a terrific season here to date and went on an incredible run there uh, with his consistency and leading our team and, you know, at a time when, when you know, we needed it. And uh, So it's great recognition for him. Of course, there's... There's a number of others. We have got a team that's had as much success as we've had in this early portion of the season here in the first half. There's a lot of players that can get recognition, of course, but uh, certainly happy for Mitch. On that note, I mean, it's a weird format where like, there's only going to be two other skaters who can kind of get voted in. You guys have a lot of four stars who can 
players. Yeah, yeah, we've got, like I say, we've got a lot of players, you know, that, uh, you know, like anytime you've got a, a team that's having success, you can have a number of guys, and it wouldn't just be us. There'd be a lot of teams in the league that would feel the same way. Format is what it is, but uh, fans will, will have their say. Maybe there'll be more opportunity for others.